a heritage that has come to man across millions of years. A gift without price, the blood of this toiling, fighting old world, a blend of hydrogen and carbon. Spreading America's horizons, revolutionizing her life and commerce, giving her wings, warming men, curing them, speeding them on their way. The age of petroleum. No gold age ever found America so ready, so quick on the uptake. Of all the Earth's oil, America has discovered and developed 54%. Riches beyond any Yukon dream in this blood of the good Earth. Petroleum marched to the very doors of America's cities gushed from her hills. Oil was where man found it, by the sea, even in the sea. These derricks, these steel towers have come to symbolize it. Small marble, America allows petroleum to take yards and park thoroughfares, to encroach upon public buildings, send up its wealth-giving stream wherever the geologist can find a sign of the treasure-bearing sands. This was a symbol, too. <laughs> Seems quite long ago. Those were the speeding days. Streamlined, amply oiled, efficient. We could range, we could row, and we took it all for granted. Cursed the traffic, never looked at the scenery. A fantastic era when we look back from these empty spaces. These gasoline ghost towns and frozen equipment. careful budgeting of miles, these days of questionnaires, official forms, coupons. We learn our ABCs all over again. So the speed-giving, wealth-giving free as it was for private citizens Jones and Smith. But the real saga of petroleum continues at a greater pace than ever. Down in Peru, in California, Texas, Oklahoma, Pennsylvania, millions of workers, engineers, geologists find new reserves, build new rigs, sink new shafts. Yes, discovery continues. The 20th century equivalent of a Klondike strike which in peacetime meant a torrent of riches, private fortune. The gusher, signifying 1943, oil for the lamps of civilization, power for fortresses that go to the Ruhr, for the tanks that soon will smash their way to Berlin for technological advances, synthetic rubber, a billion dollars in new refineries, high-octane gasoline to give America's aircraft greater ranges, oil to make toluol for TNT. The tank cars roll these days on tighter schedules than ever before, straining to take the load from west to east, the load that once went 95% by sea, but due to the Caribbean U-boat packs must find a safe route. tanker ship lanes sparsely sailed now. One tanker could carry 100,000 barrels. One tank train but 14,000. And the oil that used to come to us pours into this port, into these ships, bound east for the fronts. The frequency of shipment, the pressure of time, these and the necessary saving of rubber demand our economy, self-denial and curtailment. Here in these conveyors go our motor jaunts. For this, we share the ride. For this convoy, Africa Bound, which links tanks from Texas with the tanks that will free France.
pipeline network, 126,000 miles. Rails and ships carry only a fraction of the needed oil. Pioneer days return. The building of the big inch line, Texas to Illinois, 531 miles, costing $40 million. Push a plunger in Arkansas, set off explosions half a world away. A racing project born of war. A colossal surgery to give the earth arteries. Arteries of seamless steel. All the arts of engineering, eight rivers to cross, the work of 3,500 workers, 50 crafts. Of welders to join four states, wrapped in asbestos felt, insulated against storm, corrosion, years. The great conduit is ready. It takes its load of a million and a half barrels and will deliver 300,000 barrels a day. We give our present for the future, for the world's future in democracy. The future holds high octane aviation gas, reserved now to lift our bombers and fighters higher than the enemies, allowing our aircraft more armament, unparalleled range and speed. Super fuel, America's secret weapon, produced by three plants today to be produced by 33 tomorrow. The high octane in these blitz cans could have driven all the motor cars in a great city through a traffic jammed week. And it will too in the peace to come, in machines yet to be built, and at 40 miles to the gallop. Yes, America gives up all that and her very warmth gives her petroleum and all the old comfort and mobility for rubber, tanks and TNT, for the hope of a finer, safer world. Oil for freedom, American oil, the blood of the mechanized legion.